are, 2023. Um, it's time for a little studio update. So, here we go. <laughs> I recorded drums between August and September of last year. And right smack dab in between the drum sessions, my father died. And that was rough. So this album became very emotionally driven for me. positive that I might be ready. So there's a little bit of humanizing in the velocity here, but if I want it to swell, you can like pull down like that and it keeps the ratio and you can like just pull the corner down and it'll slope it. I'm the engineer and producer for the new Monarch record. We are at my studio, Swift Road Studios, outside Chicago in Arlington Heights. It sounds huge and we're just finishing up some basic acoustic guitar edits. My uh, my overall impression of the record is that it sounds Swedish as fuck. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, I think it's, uh, it's kind of a monument of, like, guitar music mixed with, like, just awesome different elements of, like, metal. So far, the guitars are pretty massive. <laughs> Marco, I've worked with him a couple times before doing Glacier stuff, and I've also set up his guitars and things. But, like, uh, you know, honestly, working with him is always pretty smooth. You know, he's a good guitarist. And then Rizzo coming in uh, last week was pretty incredible. Yeah, he really sh fucking showed up, man. XFX3 uh, from Fractal Audio. I have an XFX2 right here. Um, but uh, Dave, before this project, got that beautiful thing. So we ended up using that. You can see it says Monarch 2 lead on there. It's because we were cutting some leads. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, which uh, for the lead channel that we were doing, we were using the JVM, like a Marshall JVM amp. It's been really nice because like we can literally just go back and forth between presets here and like we got A, B, C, D and like A is the, it's like a Diesel Herbert, that's going to be the left side, B is the FAS Brutals, it sounded pretty fucking brutal, you know, had to use it, uh, and then C is our, mostly our layer guitar, which is the DOS metal, classic fractal audio patch, um, but yeah, it's been nice just using this and the laptop is right here and just kind of record some guitars. Okay, do the right side, B, 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 B. You know, okay, do some layers, C, 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 like just like for these blocks. And I'm using Cubase 11. I want to buy Cubase 12 since it came out, but I've been recording too many records and I don't want to upgrade in the middle of an entire album. 
So Marco Martel, who I played with in Malevolent Creation back in 2005 to six, something like that, like a couple months, we did a tour with Bolt Thrower, uh, Night Rage, Necrophagist, and Malevolent. And we moved to Florida together when we were kids and we've been around. And I know Marco very well. He's a great dude, phenomenal guitar player. He's very in the pocket of the drummer. He's awesome. I'm so happy to have a close friend that I've known for many years involved with the band. Mark and I had a really great time in Soulfly, uh, playing live in the studio, making the Enslaved album. He's just a great guitar player. He is one of the top five guitar players in the world as far as I'm concerned. He can play every style, every technique, beautifully with soul and creativity and conviction. And that's what I love about Mark's playing. The guitar is almost like another appendage to his body. He sees a guitar, he picks it up, he has to play. And what comes out of it is incredible.
and hopefully everyone who listens can feel that sense of enrichment from the music that I get because it's very near and dear and close to my heart. I've lost way too many close friends and family over the last couple of years and I needed to make this album for me and for you. Dave, how you feel about the metal record? I think metal record is good only on compact disc. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.